Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, here's our almanac for today. More sun, you can see that behind me there. A morning low, 71. Second day in a row, we didn't make it into the 60s. And 91 on the afternoon high. Warmest day so far uh, since last Saturday. And the rainfall deficit is uh, still growing as we've dried out here. It's almost been two weeks now since we've seen significant rain here. 88 right now, an easterly breeze at 17. And temperatures are in the 80s area wide, including 81 in Port Aransas, 88 here. And as far as Texas goes, there's our front. And it's not much of a deal, as uh, Bill mentioned at noon today, Bill Alexander, the front is just mainly going to be a little bit of a wind shift here and maybe a brief drop in the dew point or the humidity uh, behind it uh, Friday night, but not a big deal. But it is 71 in Lubbock and 66 in Amarillo, but it's going to have a hard time uh, fighting those southwesterly winds aloft for us. Upper 60s tonight, we're going to see, uh, again, mostly cloudy skies here tomorrow as the clouds increase uh, during the day. So that should bring our temperatures back down a little bit. But overall, the winds aren't going to be too strong. You can see the humidity here is moderate. It does take a little bit of a dip here behind our front uh, Friday night and into Saturday. And then it slowly uh, comes back up, but it's not too bad. Uh, overall. Here are the winds and again you don't really see much of a wind shift here. They're out of the north. That's our land breeze overnight. Easterly tomorrow at about 10 to 15. A little more wind tomorrow than we saw today. And uh, then we'll see a, a northeasterly wind here Friday morning. That's the weak front but it goes back to easterly uh, during the afternoon. The water vapor imagery shows that we do see Again, uh, some pretty dry air over the region, so uh, not much in the way of rainfall. There is moisture up here in North Texas. There's just not much for this front to work with, so just a stray shower. That's all we're going to have, and that's an evidence on the future tracker right here. And you can see, again, a little bit of moisture from Corpus Christi south. This is about 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. And uh, then it starts to dry out some over the weekend. And then here comes another batch of moisture in our next shot at rain, which is still small, but it's uh, better than what we're going to see on Friday. That's for Wednesday of next week. So the future tracker again picks up some morning clouds and then they really thicken up during the afternoon tomorrow, similar to what we had earlier in the week. And then a stray shower down around Baffin Bay, but that doesn't do us any good here in Corpus Christi on Friday morning. And then that goes away and that's about it. So a little bit of rain around uh, with the front on Friday, but not much. And uh, again, mostly cloudy skies here on Saturday. Into the tropics we go. We've got uh, tropical depression number 12, moderate to high chance of development here. The system staying way south in the uh, Caribbean, uh, this next system to go. Again, that front and the winds associated with it in the upper atmosphere, keeping it away from our region. As far as the Atlantic storms go, uh, Julia would be next on the list and then Carl. And uh, you get in the forecast at the beginning of the season was to get all the way down here to Virginia. So I don't think we're going to make that. Thank goodness. Low 60s inland tonight, upper 60s here and mid 70s along the coast and the highs tomorrow will be in the 80s over most of the region with clouds increasing during the afternoon. Seven day forecast again 69 and 88 tonight. More clouds than tomorrow afternoon, Friday and Saturday. So 87 Friday, 89 Saturday, 90 with more sunshine on Sunday and tranquil weather. But on the warm side here through Tuesday with uh, isolated showers returning Wednesday of next week. We'll have more with Michelle and Pat right after this.